This isn't the most optimal way to show this, but uh, I'm showing you that this is a proof of concept. Right now I'm recording at 1080p 24 frames per second on the GH2, but I am exporting at 4K for YouTube. Is it ridiculous for this? Yes it is. I'm out of focus right now so that you can see the screen to, to show what I'm, what I'm doing with this. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that later on next month I'm going to be comparing the Scarlet and the GH2 when the Scarlet finally comes in. But I thought I'd show you how to get the most optimal image out of the, the GH2 with an anamorphic adapter. Now if we're going to, let's say in this case YouTube, I can upload a file to YouTube that's in the specifications of a 4K anamorphic file. So in this case let's upload say a 4000 by 1800 file to, to YouTube. But what's the, the benefit of that you might ask? Well the benefit of that is that on your 1080p screen when you watch that uh, down compressed to 1080p you're going to be seeing a super sampled image of that 4k image which will give it a, a sharper look. Along with that we're going to use magic bullet looks and adjust and fix the LA7200 image before we upload it. So right now I, I, it's not fixed but I have that footage from the other day that I uploaded of driving uh, with the LA7200 and I uploaded that at, at 2k. Now using Vegas I changed to a, a custom 4k size project. So and if you're, you click down at the bottom original size that you'll see this in 4K. It should be sharp there. I checked before I, I shot, but doing a bunch of things at once, it, it may be out of focus. And I may have to reshoot this. But anyway, I have the, the set this set to 4000 by 1800, which should give us a, a fairly close to uh, 4K size project that we can upload to YouTube. So from there, we import and interpolate our footage which you can see here, and I'll go full screen with that. Oh, it's going to mess up because I'm going to put it on this monitor. I'm going through Splash Shop through an, another system. But um, a better way to look at that is if we open up, say, Magic Bolt Looks and we have it in here. I've found that for 4K and resizing the image for 4K uh, from a 1080p master, which is our GH2 footage in anamorphic. If we set a, a monochromatic grain size to 2.2%, the grain size will be about the size of the pixels and it'll kind of uh, add noise, which will uh, sort of give the image more definition when it's re-down sampled. So that's what I have set here. I've got color mode off for film grain, 2.2%. Um, I've got a custom three-way color corrector. You don't need to worry about that. The other thing you need to worry about is chromatic amp aberration. So with, and I think you can see that, wasn't I pointing over? Yeah. Chromatic aberration, which you can see right in this section right here. Um, it's one of the options and tools for the uh, magic bullet looks. So we can use chromatic aberration and we can actually go in, zoom into our image, our now 4K image, and we can fix any edges that might be off. So shooting this with a 20 millimeter lens, well in this case a 17 millimeter lens, it's going to be less, less chromatic aberration than the 20 millimeter lens. So the further the focal length of the lens depending on sensor size, you'll get more chromatic aberration. Anyway, at 4K, it's really easy to actually knock that out by adjusting the values for red and cyan, blue and yellow, and green and magenta. So we can uh, fix these edges like this. So let me zoom in a bit more so you can take a look at that. There's just maybe a hint. Well, this is a perfect time. If you can see that, I can actually adjust and fix that. And just like I'll do for this video before uploading it, um, that's essentially 
a, a fix that will give you a better image with your LA7200. And at 4K, we've got more room to adjust pixel-wise, or we have more control over fixing some of those faults like that. So that's just a really short tip, and essentially the way I'm going to be uploading 4K videos from the GH2 to YouTube. So I'm editing and uh, color correcting at 4K, and then outputting a 4K master file for YouTube. And I'll show you uh, in Vegas, you can output any MPEG-4 file at uh, sizes larger than 2000. Other things like MPEG-2 will be limited to 2048 pixels across. Um, other formats are limited to 1920 by 1080, but MPEG-4 uncompressed, which would be really huge, uh, can be uploaded to YouTube in their native format. So. I'm certain that someone else will have questions about this process, but it is something I'm trying new, and I think it gives a little bit better picture.